everyone and welcome to my nutrition channel. Today I'm very excited to share with you my very first Abel and Cole delivery which has just arrived this morning. What I wanted to do was to unpackage the whole thing with you and show you what's come through the letterbox and everything. So what you can do with Abel and Cole is you can request where they leave your package which I've done and then they pop something through the door. I had this that came which says a hearty big hello to you which was really sweet from Abel and Cole and of course if you don't know who Abel and Cole are which I'm guessing you probably do that's why you clicked on this video they are the people that deliver your veg boxes for you and they're all like as local as can be and they're as organic as can be fair trade all that kind of thing so you know you can get really good quality vegetables and fruit and other things you can order from them as well so it tells you on the back there if you're not happy with where they've left it then you can get in touch with them and ask them to leave it in a different place so you don't even have to be at home as long as it's somewhere that's secure that's all good and the other thing you can do as well is get in touch with them and let them know if you want to swap out any of your items so on my first delivery I managed to get 50% off now if you would like 50% off unfortunately Abel and Cole don't do an affiliate system where I can refer you and you can get a discount um, but what you can do is if you want to email me louise-usher at virginmedia.com I can send them your email address and then they will get in touch with you and you can get some money off your first order and 50% is quite a lot like for example the veg box that I ordered was £13.25 and there's a £1.25 delivery charge on there as well so but in this occasion it came to £7.87 so that was wonderful and I can have 50% off my first and my fourth veg box so let's open it I'm really excited to see so here is the box and this is how it came um, when it was outside this morning I was actually in but um, it didn't matter anyway so it's all wrapped so if it's raining then your box stays nice and dry so I'm taking this off and then it's tied up nicely so the top's not going to fling off. So I'm going to get some scissors and cut that. Like that. This is exciting. Ta-da! And that way too. So here is my lovely veg box. Okay, so what have we got in here? No, oh, we've got a lovely book, a guide on how it all works. So I don't know what's in here. Oh look, £10 voucher. So this voucher is for me, I can use that on my account which is lovely, it tells you, oh look this is nice too, this is nice, you've got little tabs down the side, your account, um, your box, your way, the shop, inspiration, so they give you, is that recipes, veg box inspiration, so we've got in there, yeah we've got some ideas, some fruity ideas and some, look at that lovely artichoke, have you ever cooked with one of those, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, let's crack to it. What's in my veg box? We have some bananas. These look nice to me. Four bananas. They are organic. They're different sizes as well. A couple of courgettes. So I like to use those for things like courgette spaghetti or just chop them up. I like them in a pan rather than in the oven because they go nice and lovely. Organic peppery salad mix. So you know the, the sort that smell like a bit peppery? That's these for you. You've got some rocket in there and some radicchio, I think. Yeah, that would be nice. Jasmine will enjoy that, won't you, Jasmine? Yeah. Sneaking in the background there. What about these, Jasmine? Have you seen these before? This is kale head. Now, these are really good to put in your Nutribullet. Very, very good to jazz things up. You've got lots of real good goodness in there, if there's such a thing as good goodness. Um, actually, they look like really, really good quality. I'm going to take that right out because I just want to check out. I'm doing this kind of reviewy thing. I want to make sure that I'm going to, not a bad size portion, but if you've ever cooked with kale or spinach or anything like that, you know, if you boil it, it just goes down to nothing. It's much better if you can get that raw into your juices, your um, smoothies, that kind of thing. What else do we have? We have some tomatoes. We don't often have tomatoes in our house. They are a nightshade vegetable, and I try and avoid these because of my um, autoimmune issues. But these look lovely. Sometimes you can smell tomatoes when they're organic. Let's have a sniff. smell vision no, they smell of nothing to me, but nevertheless, they look good. I'll get Jasmine to taste one of those, see if they're sweet. There are a couple of parsnips. My goodness me! <laughs> they're big. I will probably roast those on Easter Sunday because we do like roast parsnips. I can't eat them again. Too fibrous for me, upset my tummy. That's that. Um, and we've got some oranges, and you can tell, the way that these aren't quite perfect, you can tell that they're sort of organic and um, they look like they need a little bit more ripening up, so we'll pop those in the fruit bowl. 
some lovely apples i don't know what sort of apples these are again these look very much like you get off the tree don't they when you go scrumping and we have some potatoes in here some spuds now then let's have a look at these spuds and see what they're like they're nice they're nice nice lovely potatoes <laughs> So I think I'm quite impressed actually by my lovely fruit bowl. Thank you, Abel and Cole. Now, what they have put in there is this little note to do with the kale heads. Remember I just showed you the kale heads? This stuff. It says in here, kale heads are the top of the kale plant and they're much more tender and delicate than standard curly kale. Aha, so that's the difference. The kale heads or curly kale. So that's nice if they're more delicate because curly kale can be quite a strong flavour. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's one of those sorts of setups. Steam them whole for a few minutes and toss with butter or try melted coconut oil with a pinch of chilli flakes. Chilli flakes is interesting. Um, if chilli flakes are going to be a bit big and heavy for you, maybe a little bit of paprika or even a slight bit of turmeric. As we know by now on this channel, turmeric is very good for anti-inflammatory purposes within the body. Okay, so that's that. Um, well done Abel and Cole, thank you very much for my box. Don't forget to email me. Um, if you don't want to use that last address, you can use a different one. I'll give you a new one now. It's lifenutrition at virginmedia.com. Nutrition is spelled with a T-I-O-N, not C. So, and let me know and then I can forward you your email on to them and they can give you a nice discount. So, I hope that's helped. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you've subscribed if you haven't done already and come back for more because we're going to be doing loads of stuff on this channel i'm so excited i'm nearing the end of the university year now so there's going to be an opportunity to do a lot more cooking with you in the kitchen and lots more tips on healthy eating etc so lovely to see you thanks for being here and i look forward to seeing you next time bye for now